We're still here in Osaka and we're gonna be trying something very famous over here. It's one of their konkatsu or it's a fried pork cutlet. And we're here in Dotonburi and we're gonna be visiting one of the frequently visited restaurants and it's called Kimikatsu. So if you're around here in Dotonburi area, you'd be able to find Kimikatsu in Shochiku, Shochiku, the dining building. So that's where it is. It's actually located in the basement or B1 basement. And that's how it looks like over there. That's this city. That's where we're going to be eating right now. Kimikatsu. So they also offer a uh, 20% discount right now and this place is very accessible because it's uh, near by a landmark if you would be able to see this building on me right now there. that would probably be your landmark that you are in the correct area the Shochiku the dining and then just B1 okay Guys, I'm here right now at Kimikatsu over here at Totenburi in near Ibisubashi in Osaka and we are going to be trying out one of the famous uh, tonkatsu restaurants over here and we are at Kimikatsu and Kimikatsu they have a lot of uh, flavors uh, in relation to their tonkatsu cooking style so, we will be providing you some information about how it looks like. Alright? In the event guys that you'll be visiting Osaka and you wanted to try some of the delicacies that they can offer, try to go at Kimikatsu. And this is how their menu looks like. So their set meal for one person would be a price of 1,480 yen and with that you'd be able to choose from different kinds of katsu or there would be the normal there's also cheese there's also the black salt and there's also ume shio there's also garlic and there's also the uh, yusu or what you call lime flavor so they have a different set also if you want to try everything they have what you call the moriawase or the kimikatsu mixed platter and the pricing is also written there in front given your order first they will be serving you the bowl of cabbage along with the dressing so it depends on the dressing that you would be using whether it's actually the vinaigrette or the Thousand Island Japanese style pressing or I think it's the sesame seed and then we also have here the sauces so there's also a salt and some of their uh, what you call sauces are actually written in English so I think for people who will be coming here doesn't have any Japanese knowledge they'd be able to to uh, communicate using English few minutes the mating the yung ating tonkatsu so after a few minutes here is the tonkatsu that we have ordered it looks really good and we have a nice set of uh, Japanese traditional utensils that are being used to serve rice so look at the inside it has a very nice texture as well as the flavoring of Garlic is inside. Yung cabbage yun na. Sarap. Hindi natin ng dressing.
Fresh talagang cabbage ng Japan. So may kukong para sa ibang bata. Now let's try the food. Napaka eminent ng kanyang preparation. So it's really is a good preparation that they have made. So praise to you. We have the salt. Salt over there. And then some tonkatsu sauce. And it's the ponsu which is actually like the lime soy. So we'll try it. So let's look at how it looks like. It's beautiful. Try to dip in the salt and salt first. Mm, I love ramen. You might forget your childhood eating this. So welcome back, mga kaviu bayans. I hope you had a great chance to enjoy the video. And of course, the verdict for Kimokatsu is a really good restaurant for you to visit for those people who like to eat tonkatsu and Japanese food. That restaurant offers different types of flavors including garlic, wasabi, and black salt. I think for people who are really adventurous in their taste with their taste buds, uh, it's also great for you to try their moriwase or mixed platter. I guess that would be the best uh, uh, choice for you to order, especially when you're coming in in groups. Uh, price range itself, uh, kind of bit like budget friendly for people who want to probably extend a little bit of uh, uh, cash and the location is very convenient. They're very uh, easy to find. They're just uh, along the Dotomburi uh, Location and they're right adjacent or across the Kanidoriaku or the famous uh, Crab restaurant. Did you see the crab restaurant? I've shown you on the on the uh, video earlier and if you follow the um, steps going to that restaurant i guess you won't get lost and i hope you guys enjoy it and have a great day wherever you guys are and we're hoping to see you back here in japan